Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really unique vacuum and mopping robot from SwitchBot, the S10. In a time when manufacturers are focusing on suction power or adding different styles of brushes or variations on a theme of dragging cloths around a floor to supposedly clean, SwitchBot engineers decided to focus on innovation over incremental improvement on existing features. In this video, we'll look at what innovations the S10 brings, what you get in the box, the initial setup process, including some surprises that are either hilarious or a concern, more on that later. We'll look at the application and the features available, then integrate the S10 with Alexa and Home Assistant. We'll round up with my thoughts as to if you should buy it, consider it or skip it. So let's charge everything up and see if the hype matches the performance. The SwitchBot S10 comes with three main parts. Of the S10 itself, which is circular and measures 148mm across and 92mm tall to the top of the LiDAR sensor, and weighs in at a hefty 12.13 pounds. So this is not a small or light robot vacuum. But this is not a bad thing, as it uses this weight and the 6,500 pascals of suction to press down to achieve great results. There are two base stations, which is where the innovation comes into play. The first of these is the emptying station, which is 261mm across by 210mm deep and 323mm tall, although take into account when deciding on location that it is recommended to give this 50cm each side and 1m in front to allow the robot to dock. You'll also need a power supply within 1m for the included power cable to plug into. Access to the removable SwitchBot dust bag is from the top and is easily accessible and removable. Remember these bags are designed to be one use only. SwitchBot sells a one year replacement kit of sweeping brushes, mopping rollers, side brushes, dust bags, filters and five replacement bags for 99 US from their website. The watering station that comes with the S10 is the real star of the show. It measures 100mm tall and is designed to fit under the kickboard of the kitchen cabinets. It also comes with all the pipes and attachments to allow for easy fitting by even a novice, although I'd still recommend getting a plumber to install. Maybe that's why SwitchBot sent me a leak detector as well. The unit has a filter for clean water but also has an internal battery that powers the electronics needed for the water station as it's not mains powered and instead recharges from the robot. Now that's great engineering. I have enough devices plugged into my home already. Making this powered from the robot is genius. Now for those of you that are going to be using this in a permanent location, this is great. But for some, like myself, I wanted to test this device extensively before committing to install it permanently. As such, SwitchBot understand this, and they have an option of a temporary installation through an optional water tank system that fits on top of the watering station. This is available directly from SwitchBot for $79.99. The additional water tanks are of good size to minimize the number of times you need to empty and refill them. For me, this was once a month. Then you get the usual accessories of two additional dust bags, cleaning brushes for the water components, and two cleaning solution bags, of which SwitchBot says you must use to avoid damaging the S10. I'll leave it to others to run the standard solution through their S10s, void their warranty, and render their robots vacuum only. But it's a small price to pay for this level of automation. SwitchBot are well known for their ease of setup and the S10 continues this theme. I'll assume that you have already excitedly unpacked everything from the box and removed the various pulls, tapes and spaces. Start with the base station, place it somewhere with a plug and 50cm distance on either side and 1m in front to allow for docking and plug it in. Place your S10 onto the dock and give it a few hours to top off the battery, which is always a good idea with battery powered rechargeable devices. Now place your watering station in a convenient, easily accessible location. I'll assume that you are running the additional water tanks, but if not, you should have it plumbed. Now place your water tanks over the watering station. Remember to follow the instructions for connecting the watering station to the tanks. This is via connecting the pipes to the connection points at the back of the watering station. Now plug in your USB-C plug from the tanks to the watering station. Press and hold the pairing button for 2 seconds or until the white LED flashes to indicate that it is paired successfully. If you don't have the SwitchBot application loaded, then now is the time to download it. QR codes on the screen for the iOS and Android versions. Set up an account and go to the home screen. 
press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. As the S10 has built in Bluetooth, it will be detected and show up ready for you to connect. Now remove the top faceplate of the S10 and flip the switch to on. Now press next on the application. Select the floor cleaning robot S10. Now let's put the S10 into pairing mode. Press and hold the home button and the switch mode button for 3 seconds. The S10 will tell you it's in pairing mode and the power button will flash. Select your 2.4 GHz network and enter your Wi-Fi password and press next. Note that 5 GHz is not supported. Now enter a name for your S10 and select the room that it is located in and press start using. The S10 and the watering station will check their firmwares and advise you if an upgrade is required. As this is such a new device and the firmwares are under constant improvement, it is highly recommended that you do both. Upgrade will take some time, so be patient as it might look like it is doing nothing. Once completed, press finish and you are now set to start the mapping process. Now is the time to prepare your home for the first pass. It is recommended that you clear away all kids toys, towels on floors, open doors, anything that will prevent the S10 from completing a full map of your house. Press fast mapping. The S10 will now go and have a look around your home and map the house that it has access to. This is going to take some time, so be patient. The SwitchBot app is feature rich. However, it aims to make the experience as simple as possible. Open the SwitchBot app. Select your S10. The floor map of the house will be shown that was created in the initial mapping. At the bottom of the screen is the current active area for cleaning a full house, room or area. Below this to the left is the functions button. You can control the VAC and the MOP functions that you wish to happen. To the right in settings, you can set the location of the water station. In maintenance, which allows you to automatically adding mopping solutions and the consumable parts as a percentage usage. You can also set the dust collection frequency after each task every 15 or 20 minutes. Then the cleaning frequency, which I will also leave as automatic. And finally the drying of the mop, which I'd leave the robot to work out. So leave as automatic. To the right is the button to select the VAC, VAC mop or custom to set different cleaning plans for different rooms. Here you can also set the suction power and the amount of water that you used in the mopping. I'd recommend leaving these as maximum suction and wet mopping for best results. In the middle you have the play button which actions the setup that you have configured. In the top right hand corner is a cog button for the settings. You can rename your S10 and place it at home and specify a room where the S10 is located. You have the option to set up a schedule, a do not disturb time and edit your map or change the rooms and areas including no go lines. You can define which areas are carpeted and how you wish the robot to handle carpeted areas. Then there are various other settings such as audio, Wi-Fi and firmware updates. Now I'm not going to be laying dry condiments on the floor or let my dog do a poo in the middle of the kitchen floor and see how the S10 goes. Sorry everyone, my partner would kill me. But I will tell you that the roller cleaner works amazingly well. I have tiles and carpet and it cleans better than any other vac mop robot I've tested. I'm sure this is the 10th video you've seen on the robot and that you will agree. It's quick, avoids obstacles such as cables and shoes, is quiet when on low power mode, although I do tend to run it on high power mode when I'm not at home. Although with the LiDAR and camera it does a great job at avoiding stray obstacles, the S10 can get a bit annoyed after a few tries. It backs up, makes a guess at the best direction and floors the accelerator. Now in my case it got itself out, but for some of you this might be a little bit too aggressive. Likewise the S10 can take quite a shine to itself. When I was doing the initial mapping run, it seemed to get stuck in front of a full length mirror, spending 10 minutes looking at itself until I paused and continues, at which time it lost interest in itself and carried on with mapping the house. But in general vacuuming was excellent, mopping was a standout feature, navigation especially at night with the headlights on was surreal but still excellent. You can integrate the S10 with Google Home, Amazon Alexa and Apple Home and have voice control. However you don't get the full functionality so you can't ask your S10 to vac or mop your kitchen but you can start and stop the S10. Likewise with Home Assistant there is no native integration. But you will be able to achieve this using the SwitchBot Hub 2 to use its matter capabilities to allow you to start and stop the S10. 
Now you will need to have Matter already set up. And for me, this was through the Matter integration and the HomeKit bridge, link in the description. And while watching this video, maybe consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel or becoming a channel member to receive early access to videos plus other perks. Now open the SwitchBot app, select your hub from the home screen, press the cog in the top right hand corner, scroll down and select Matter Setup. Select Secondary Devices. Select the plus icon to the left of the S10. Press the back arrow in the top left hand corner. Now make a note of the Matter code. If you have Amazon Electra already linked, then it will show that it recognizes the device and adds it. Now I've assumed that you already had Matter support already set up, but if not, then you can add it with the Matter code that you copied from the main screen. Move back into Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Search for and select Matter. Select the devices. You'll now see your S10 will show up as the on off plug in unit. Select this. You can now see a switch that when toggled will start your S10 cleaning in whatever mode it was last in. Unfortunately, this is the only control that are available at this time, but hopefully more will be exposed as matter support improves. So the SwitchBot S10 robot vacuum and mop, should you buy it, consider it or skip it? Well, firstly, let's give praise where praise is due. The SwitchBot engineers didn't just follow the crowd and increase suction or make incremental improvements on a tried and tested formula. Instead, they did a full brainstorm on the idea of an intelligent vac and mop solution. Let's address each component. The emptying station is functional, small and compact. Just what you need it to be with no bells and whistles. The S10 vacuum capabilities are very good. I'd go as far as to say that the best I've seen. However, the dust bar is relatively small, although effective. The single side brush is functional, but nothing astounding. The navigation feature is excellent. It never got stuck and its smash and run feature could be either great news or a worry depending on your thoughts. The mopping feature is innovative, unique and highly effective. The only criticism is that the roller only goes partially to the sides and with the round design, it can leave an unclear bar around your home where the roller doesn't get to. If you want to avoid this, then you're best with a Narwhal or Roborock S8 Max V Ultra. Although the roller action of the SwitchBot S10 is much better, thanks to its self-cleaning roller, as opposed to the rotating discs. The real star of the show is the water filling station with its optional tanks. This really makes the S10 a clear standout from the crowd. Now you can really set and forget with possible weeks between maintenance, and if you mix that with the promise of the S10 performing a water carrying function around your home to your humidifier or dehumidifier, then this really is next level of automation. So should you consider it, skip it or go ahead and buy it? Well, I think you would have surmised by now, it's a buy it. No, it's not perfect, but it's about as close as we have to the future in our homes right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want to have access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one, remember to be nice to your robots. They might be your lord and master sooner than you think.